Hey everybody, it's Will McNeil here. Uh, welcome to Stroke It 2.0. Stroke It is a paint tool set that I've developed for Houdini. It's something I've been doing for fun in my free time for a few years now. Uh, there have been a few versions of it before, 1.0, 1.5. This version uh, 2.0 is quite a big step forward and I've been doing it along with the help of side effects. And the plan is in the near future to make it a free download available to all of you. So uh, follow along and I'll show you how it works. This runs in Houdini 20.5 or later. I'd suggest getting um, the latest version uh, of Houdini that you can. Certainly uh, in the last few weeks, some updates have happened that uh, really make it function better. It renders inside Karma, uh, either XPU or CPU. Uh, you can pipe it into any render engine you like, but for now it works straight out of the box uh, with the standard Houdini install. So you don't need to uh, add any render engines to make it work. Working inside Karma XPU is really quick and um, it gives you a really nice responsive feel, which I think is great, and it looks nice. It also makes use of Copernicus or COPS 2, or a most recent version of COPS. That's, if you're not familiar, uh, a 2D compositing system that works inside Houdini, and that's really changed the whole way that this system works because it no longer relies on really heavy uh, geometry. It can use really lightweight geometry and then do most of its work uh, in 2D with a lot of texture maps, live created texture maps that go into the render engine. Strokit has two styles, one which you see here, which is the freehand paint style. So you can uh, draw directly onto the canvas and you'll get strokes that look like these immediately. Uh, and then also a palette knife look, which is what you see here. And um, that way you just load in a photograph or an image and it can instantly, well, not quite instantly, very quickly turn that into a um, a palette knife effect image. And both of these use cops in very different ways and I think it'd be fun to show you how that works. This isn't just a scene, it's also a learning tool. So for instance, if you dive inside, you'll see that everything's open, nothing's locked. You can go into every node and play around with it, change the parameters, um, and everything's got uh, sticky notes on it so you can try your best to understand what's happening inside. I've tried to make it as clear as possible. Um, those sticky notes are on just about everything, See, I've tried my best to kind of lay this out in a very clear way. Um, you can even just, even diving all the way down into the copnet, you can see there's notes here about what's going on. I've tried to lay things out really clearly for you. And the whole idea here is that you can play around with this. Um, try it, learn from it, test it, improve it, do whatever you like. Um, if you break something, just reload it. Um, and of course, if you make something better, share it with us and uh, share with the community and let's see what you come up with. That would be really cool. There'll be several videos, I think five in total. This is the overview one. Then for each of the, uh, the two techniques, I'll do a video on just how to use it, and then another one trying my best to explain how it works um, underneath. So you can see uh, kind of how COPS has worked into this, how the interface is created, all that kind of good stuff. I'm really excited about this. I think it's great to be getting it out in front of lots of people and, uh, and see what people come up with. So uh, follow along and let's have fun.